top sort of uh, tips I would give is number one, obviously good awareness of um, uh, disabilities and, and the legislation surrounding that. That's really important. From that, we can then actually design buildings properly. So have you done training then in accessibility? Yeah, absolutely. I've attended the course um, as our other colleagues in, in my practice are going to be doing the same. Mm -hmm. So we're now at a level where we have that extra level of training mm -hmm. to supplement what we already know. So, okay. so looking at probably some of the major major items that I could say that, that are taken into consideration when we design this building. So we'd be looking at a good layout, a clear, legible, understandable layout so people can navigate the building. Mm -hmm. We need to think about good, accessible um, entrances. So we want to have sliding doors, level so thresholds, like sort of just like this one here. here. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So what is it about this entrance then which would um, help people when they were coming into this building? OK, so let's have a look at this. We've got, uh, for a start, we've got sliding doors which are activated obviously by a sensor. So as you approach the door, <laughs> you people, the doors open and people are easily able to get into the building. Um, obviously, if this was a standard door, we would have a problem. People would have to go up to it, would have to open it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and if it wasn't wide enough, people actually wouldn't be able to get through if they, say, were in a wheelchair. Okay. So other things as well to think about signage as well. Here's a good example, actually, yeah. over the door. It's quite clear from when you, walk, you, know, you come into the site yeah. that you can see where the entrance is. Absolutely. Good contrast on that signage as well, Emma. I mean, we look at that. It's black against blue. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. Um, you know, it can be, it could be worse. Um, we have seen signs before that are very poor, very difficult to read. Mm -hmm. uh, the font and the typeface, it's not too bad. It's a sans serif uh, font. It could be probably, uh, probably even the clearer, but uh, that, that as a starting point is very, very good. So. And it's, there's quite a lot of glazing in this building, so I guess it's quite light inside. So in terms of people being able to see, I suppose that's quite Yeah, amazing. that's right. We don't want artificial lights on all the time. So we want to make the most of natural light in, in, in buildings. And, and of course, this is one of the, one of the things we try to do just generally but of course it has the added benefit for people with disabilities that they can navigate around a lot easier and see what are the, and see the colours and contrasts a lot simpler. So I saw when that gentleman walked into the building that there's a lot of matting in this entrance. Is that there for a particular reason? Or is it... Yeah, it's, it's there to, to obviously, uh, again, contrast at the moment with the outside surface. So if that were all the same colour, people wouldn't be able to see the difference between the two spaces. Um, but it's also to get, provide grip as well. So you've got uh, the ability, people are not going to fall over. And of course, it acts as an um, ability to take off um, any dirt and debris so you don't yeah. take into so the I building. So I suppose if somebody's coming in that's wet, especially in a wheelchair yeah. or something, it takes yeah. that off. Absolutely, okay. yeah.